Everybody, how are you guys doing today? Welcome back. Welcome back to another stream. We did some uh, breakwaters. Um, not the was it yesterday? I, I can't even remember. I think we did it yesterday. Did we yesterday play something else? Oh my god, my memory sometimes is um, really is terrible. Um, no, yeah, no, yeah, yesterday we did end zone, and the day before that, on the 20, oh, actually, yeah, the 28th, we played Breakwaters, we did the update, and in that update, there were some new missions, it was a lot of fun, I really enjoyed playing, uh, oh, accidentally click play <laughs> i really enjoyed those new missions it was so much fun to play through um i really f it really f almost felt like it wasn't completely a new game with um with the different missions there that was really fun uh, but now we're back in breakwaters we're on the second island let me um have the world load in for a sec it's like performance is actually slightly better than the last time we played. Slightly. There have been uh there has been another two updates or something. So maybe that has something to do with it. We're good to see you all here. Welcome. I see who do we all have here? We see we have Daniel, we have Lilura, we have Solar Demos, we have Bobby, Christy, Pixie is back, and Awful Gaming. Hello everybody. Welcome. 20 people watching already. That's freaking insane. Thank you guys all for being here and uh, hanging out. That's always fun. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna play some more games. We're just gonna have some more fun. Now I don't think there any of the missions on this island are new yet. Um, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. We played through the new missions in the beginning in the other live stream. And now we're just gonna continue these um well this this storyline, I guess, as much as we can. And we're just gonna play through the game. And uh maybe we'll notice some other new stuff that I didn't know about before. Uh let's see, we need to find a turtle sconch. Yep. That's one of the things we're gonna have to take a look at. Let's try and find that one. There should be a graveyard somewhere on the island. Right around there, I believe. Let's go take a look at that. Or maybe back there. I see something on a mini map there that might indicate there being one of them uh, one of them graveyards. This is the trader. The trader right here. Right. And our base is behind this wall, I believe. Yeah, behind this rock. This is our base. And now where is the graveyard? The graveyard's then gotta it's gotta be somewhere over in that direction. Base in front of the minimap, yep, yeah, that's true. It doesn't matter. I mean, you guys rather look at my face than the minimap, right? You don't need the minimap. Not important. Um. Where? Where's the graveyard? Is it not here? I know there was a graveyard at the other island. 
Uh oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> that caught me off guard. Oh. Um, the hermit said I should sail to the village. Oh, okay. The graveyard is now at the village. Okay. Right. Before we could find the graveyard on the second island. So that has changed. Yeah. So there's a graveyard on the first island where we find the guy in the beginning. And then now there's supposed to be a second graveyard near the village area. For which we're going to need a boat. Um, okay. Yeah, so we really need to get that boat right now. We need to solve the this, this ruin puzzle as well. Already know how to solve that, of course. Uh, unless something changed. <laughs> um, and I don't think we can complete this one. I don't think we can complete that one. Because as I said, I don't think... The missions have been completely reworked. Soaring did say something about having to do some more second island stuff. So that's probably uh that's probably this. Gesundheit, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Good to see you there, Quinn. Hello there. <clears throat> Let's talk to Chris to see if he has something else to say today. Um, no, nothing new looks like. All right, good enough. Hey, Christy, they sent you home to telework because network was not working. The network was not working, so it was only net. There, there was no work, it was only net. Netting. That's fun, I guess. So you're driving back home again? Damn. <laughs> I mean... On... You know, on, on one hand... It's good... I guess it, 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 can, it can be good, it can be fun to go back home. But something I hated doing when I went to work uh, somewhere. I hate being there like a minute and then being sent home. That's what I don't like. I rather work for like another couple of hours and then go home. Then immediately going home. I don't like that because then I've spent. Why is my mouse on the screen? <laughs> That's still a thing, apparently. How did that happen again? Um, I forget how do how do I make that happen? I remember that being a, a problem before with the mouse. How did I do that? Was it something like this? Uh, I don't know anymore. <laughs> But yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of that. Going to work, and then being there, and then being sent back. I'm like, God, I just got here. But it also depends on how far it is, I guess. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He shots and he scores. It is a not, not walk. Not walk. Yeah, let's see. Let's fire some rats into the ocean. That's always fun. Bye. Get rid of them. Um, right. Okay, back to base. And I guess let's work on that, um, that the boat dock. I think we were pretty close to being able to make it if i'm not mistaken i don't remember exactly what we had but we were pretty close um let's see we need for the boat dock 
We need this. 30 wooden planks. 25 nails. 6 sap. Felt like I had to sneeze again. <clears throat> Alright. So, um, yeah, it's not, that's not too much. Wooden planks and nails. Tree sap is kind of easy. Uh, what do we have in here? There we go. Tree sap is... Uh, um, there we go. Already done. Awesome. Very good, very good. And then over here, we can make the wooden planks and such. We'll make hardwood into wooden planks. So we need some more hardwood then. <clears throat> and we'll need some nails. There we go, plenty of nails. Increase inventory again. The stack sizes. Uh, yeah, you couldn't do much of anything, so I'd rather go home and get stuff done. At least I'm able to telework. If they do that to you, it will cost them two hours of pay. I live an hour away. Wow. Yeah. If it's an hour away, I... <laughs> I would definitely not enjoy that. You spend an hour getting there and then you have to go an hour back. You're losing so much time in a day. Just traveling for nothing then. Hey, Pixie. Eight months already. Oh my goodness. Eight months of support. I don't know why the... Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Um, any non-members in the chat, send me a hey hey booster, and I will get you a prize. Send me a hey hey booster, and I will get you a prize. The non-members, they have to send a send a hey hey, send a hey hey in chat, and then you'll get a prize. Apparently, that's cool. Who doesn't like a prize? Everybody likes a prize, right? I mean, at least I do. I always like getting free stuff. Free stuff is the best stuff. Alright, let's chop this down. Chop, chop, chop. Hey there, Kevin and Lawson. A Shroop Waffle a day keeps the doctor away. Well, actually, a Shroop Waffle a day will probably have you go to the doctor instead. Um, you know, because it's quite... You know, it's quite delicious and addictive. And full of sugar. So, you'll probably have to visit the doctor more often, to be honest. Let's be honest about that. But that's not gonna stop me. That won't stop me from eating them anyway. <laughs> there we go. Chop all them up. There we go. Get all those logs. Oh, I love the bioluminescence in the game. So cool. There we go. That's a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, there we go. Pixie gifted five memberships again. I I wish Streamlabs would actually notify me when people gift it. I only get notified when someone redeems it, but not when it's actually gifted. <laughs> Thank you so much, Pixie. I didn't see that. I'm sorry. Thanks for gifting five booster memberships. So anyone who is not a member on the YouTube chat right there can uh, go to Pixie's message and allow the gift and claim it. And then you will get a membership for free. You'll get to use the members only emotes and all that kind of stuff. That's pretty awesome. And... There we go. Dreamer has accepted the offer. Dreamer is now a member. That's awesome. 
Congrats, congrats. Can we get some hearts in the chat for uh, for Pixie and also for Dreamer now, of course? That is amazing. There we go. Let's uh, make some more wooden planks. Uh, how many did I need? How many did it say I needed? 30? 30. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh. And now I don't have enough inventory space. There we go. It's feeling a bit slow right now. 50 FPS. I did turn up the shadows to high. Let's turn it down to medium. Yeah, there we go. Now it's around 60 again. That's slightly better. Yeah, streaming the game definitely is a lot, um, a lot worse, I guess, than uh, than playing it without. Or not a lot worse. It's less optimal, I should say, because because the 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 FPS for me usually is pretty steady when I'm not streaming. I usually have around uh, around 80 FPS or something. So of course there can there's there should still be some performance updates later down the line, but um, usually it's quite quite good for me. Uh, right, let's get this out of here. Um, there we go, and let's make ourselves the boat dock. Boom. And let's place that boat dock in the water, shall we? Place it right over here. Um, I'm gonna place it a little further into the water if I can. Probably somewhere around. Hmm. Let's see. Somewhere around here. Wonderful. Yeah, that's pretty good. Maybe it's a little bit too close to land. Because it can't really turn properly. When the water yeah, goes down like that. <laughs> that's going to be a slight problem. Uh, but whatever. We'll make it work. All right, what kind of boats can we make immediately? We can make the Explorer class, of course, the Traveler, and the Hawk. Now, for the Hawk, we need black metal, so that will be a little while before we can get that. And we can make the Explorer class. We only need more seagrass and planks. And we need metal sheets for the Traveler. And metal sheets we could obtain by smacking those um those pirate towers and hideouts you could get black metal and also the metal sheets from those uh, pirate places so for that to happen we first need to have a boat and a cannon and um yeah we're gonna need a lot of ammunition that's for sure gonna take a while okay i am thirsty my character is slowly dying. Let's drink some water. There we go. Get a new bottle in there. Bottle it up. There we go. Wonderful. We have two new bottles of water. Uh, let's eat some of the berries. Fill that up all the way. Mm -mm -mm. For some reason, it won't let you get a membership. I mean, you have already claimed it previously, so it should automatically gift it to you, I believe. After a little while. I'm not sure. Can you play the, the game as a female yet? Yeah, there is... Uh, well... It doesn't necessarily say male or female. It just says body type 1 and 2. And um, body type 2 is basically like a female body type. So, yes, I guess. <laughs> I 
Why is it flickering so much on the background? It's a little weird. Uh, steel hammer. We have an iron one. Should probably make a better one. There we go. Now we have a steel hammer. Even better. Alright, let's put it on the ground over here again. Make solar demos angry. There we go. Not my problem. And we should probably try to get ourselves some more iron. I saw iron like a minute ago. I saw more somewhere. That's a redstone. I swear, like, I just saw it. You guys seeing that flickering as well every now and then? Don't know what it is. I didn't notice that last time we played. Must be from the most recent update. It's a little weird. Ah, well. Me angry? I thought it was Mr. Kingbo. Oh, was it Mr. Kingbo? Oh, could be. I'm sorry. Was it Mr. Kingbo? Yeah, maybe. Could very well be. <laughs> Here was the iron. Don't think this was the one I saw earlier, but... At least we got some, so that's good, I guess. Ba, 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 ba. Oh. Oh, weird stuff is happening. <laughs> this update doesn't seem to be very stable right now. Oh my goodness. Weird things are happening for sure. Oh well. Doesn't matter. As long as we're having fun playing the game. Let's see if I can change some settings, though. Maybe that will, uh... Solve problems? I don't know. Change that, maybe. I don't know what would cause that. Maybe draw distance a little bit. I want to keep that on there. Yeah, we'll see. It's probably nothing I can change, but we tried. <laughs> Got some more iron back there. Hey there, slime. How you doing? Now, yeah, let's just smack this. There we go. Get all that iron. And there's the big boy again right there. There's a bunch of iron next to him. I really want to have that iron. I really want it. But we can't get to it. Not without risking our lives. Well, oh, there's one of them. Now, these ones we can take. There we go. Especially with the steel hammer. That makes it a whole lot easier, that's for sure. Disintegrate. There we go. <laughs> Took a minute. Some more iron back here. Don't anger the big boy. Stay away from him. Don't anger the big boy. Um, can we get that one down there? I'm pretty sure that's too close, but... 
you probably tried anyway. Come on, come on, hit him. There we go, nice. Very good. Get some health. Very good. Alright. Let's try and... Oh. <laughs> Let's try and get that one in the middle right there. Hey Mary, good to see you. What is this game about? And is it on PC or a console? It's currently only on PC. At this moment. It's still in early access, the game, on Steam. So, um, you know, it's still in development. But it will be coming to the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox um, X series, I think. It will be coming to the like the next gen consoles. So PlayStation 5 and whatever the equivalent is on Xbox. I think X, right? I'm not very familiar with Xbox um, platform names. Oh, yeah. No, he angry. Is he going to throw that at me? I noticed that the colors on its... The, the crystals on its arms and stuff are slightly different. They used to be only like bright green. And now some of them are kind of like turquoise or whatever. Whatever that... Oh. Okay. Hi. Alright, come on. Get it. Get it. Get it! Get it! Oh, alright. Grab the iron. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, those are, I guess, the blue crystals. I guess those are supposed to be the blue crystals or something? I guess so. Yeah, that would actually lore-wise make sense as well. Because blue crystals are supposed to generate water. And green crystals are supposed to uh, pull water towards it. Oh. Had some connect connection issues again. Are we back? I think we are back now. Question mark? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's turn off the lower thirds again. I think that is causing some issues. For some reason. Alright, that's turned off. There we go. Um, I don't know when the stream got off for a second there. But yeah, I think, um, as I said earlier, like I think those are blue and green crystals. And blue crystals are supposed to generate water. And green crystals are supposed to uh, pull water towards itself. So it would kind of make sense. Because he is, you know, generating the water, I guess. He has water, like, I don't know, stored in his body or whatever. So lore-wise, it would kind of make sense. Alright, let's smack this. Get some iron quickly. Quickly! Ooh! Come on, get the stuff, get the stuff, get the stuff! No! Don't get stunned! No! <laughs> get out! Get out! Oh, no, 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 no. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, man. So close to death. Wow. Okay. Uh, health food, health food, health food. I don't have any health food right now. <laughs> We don't have any meat right now. Oh boy. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Hello there, uh, Lavinia? Lavinia? Hello there, welcome. 
You're looking at it now, Mary. Um, you think you bought the game on Steam a while back, did a refund because at the time it was very laggy and unplayable. Yeah, on the on the day one, um, on the day one release of early access, there were a lot of a lot of bugs that weren't in the game during the beta. So I don't exactly know why all of that happened, but for some reason on the day one. There must have something being added to it that created a bunch of different issues. And um, yeah, I mean, if, if it was laggy, I don't know what your um, I don't know what your graphics card and stuff is. But this game does require a pretty decent graphics card as also uh, listed on the Steam page. So if you don't have a, you know, a decent graphics card, then you might have some issues playing the game. At least on the, like, medium or high. Um, but there have been a lot of performance updates. So, maybe now that wouldn't uh, wouldn't be a problem anymore. It's still not 100% optimized and it's still not 100% done, the game. So, you know, there might still be some issues. But it should be a whole lot better than it was. Uh, I should not fight this guy again. I have no health. Let's get back home first. Let's go home to the place I belong. Slide down the mountain. Man, I love doing that. I am addicted to sliding down the hills in this game. I'm like super addicted to that. It's so much fun to do. Ba -ba -ba. There we go. That flickering is super annoying. Let me, um, hold on a moment. Let me go into the Discord quickly and, um, tell Soaring about that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Sorry guys. Quickly uh, typing our way in the in the break. What is this cord? Sending soaring pixels a message there. Uh, there we go. All right. <clears throat> We're back in. I'll take a look at a at a response later. Um. Run for this run. Yeah. <laughs> Thumbnail made me made me think you were a petrodactyl <laughs> may you think of the uh, pterodactyl the flying dinosaur that's awesome yeah it kind of it kind of does look similar to that uh but that's that's like a flying boat sort of it's called the hawk so it, it kind of looks like a hawk it's kind of based off of that um, but it is actually a boat that can fly using um, using the blue crystals as um, as basically a propulsion system, right? Because as I said, the blue crystals are supposed to be generating water, so those crystals will like propel you into the air and uh, allow you to fly for short durations of time. So that's pretty fun. It's more of an exploration kind of ship slash plane. <laughs> it's not uh, not equipped with any weapons. It's just more like exploration, but uh, it's it's a lot of fun. I love playing around in that one. I hope to get it 
Uh, well, we're probably not going to get it today. Because we need black metal for it. But I, I would like to get it. It's a lot of fun. Is multiplayer better? Uh, currently, multiplayer is accessible. But only via a password. It's only accessible via a password. Um, it's, it's kind of uh, in... Um, um, how do you, how, how the best say that? Um, yeah, it, it's basically temporarily removed from the default game. But if you ask in the Discord to me or one of the other moderators, then we will give you the um, the password to access it, to access the co-op. But right now it's temporarily disabled because the focus of the, the focus that the they're working right now more on the single player experience and a new content so, uh, at, well at the same time also working on multiplayer a little bit but the problem with the multiplayer was the steam servers there was something with the steam servers i don't know what was wrong with them I am not a game developer. I do not know anything about that myself. <laughs> but what I heard from Soaring Pixels is, what, is that there was a problem with a connection to the Steam servers or something. Uh, and that was the main reason that it was so... Um, yeah, so, so so bad, actually, the, uh, the multiplayer. Uh, but that's something that, uh, that he's working on. But right now, it's only one developer... Uh, there used to be a team of about five people, but because of the very, very sad um, early access, like the first early access month, um, you know, there had to be some uh, tough decisions had to be made, and the team went back down to four, to three, to two, and ultimately to, to one left, um, the main developer. So, you know, the development goes slightly slower than it uh it used to be during the beta but he is working on it i i can assure you he is working on it um he's working on multiplayer he's working on creative mode he's working on more content bug fixes almost every day so he's doing uh, the best he can and uh man i i am um surprised actually with how much how many bug fixes and stuff he uh, puts out on his own. So, that's uh, that's good stuff. <laughs> um, you play Ark fine on a laptop, so I would have thought we'll be able to play this game. Well, Ark doesn't have a uh, like water simulation like this one does have, right? Like, Ark is, is a completely different game. So, and that, that's where a lot of people, um, I guess, made, well, I don't, I don't want to say made the mistake, but a lot, of, a lot of people think like, oh, I can play this game, so I should be able to play this early access game as well. But no, because, because of this water simulation, it takes a, a huge toll. It, it's, it's a very high in demand for your, um, for your GPU power or whatever. I don't know how to say it. I'm I'm bad at explaining stuff like that. Again, I'm not a game developer, so <laughs> don't get mad at me for the bad explanation, please. <laughs> please be kind. <laughs> so it's still in the test realm kind of status, yeah. Yeah, it's currently on like a beta and uh, like a beta an uh, alpha branch or beta branch or whatever. Uh, accessible with a pass password. So, if you do want to play the co-op version, you can always ask the moderators in the Discord about it. And then we will send you the password via a DM. Um, but it is very much a unstable branch. The multiplayer right now is super unstable. There are no recent updates, as in content updates. So, not barely anything has changed from um, from the day one early access, because as I said, it has been on hold for a little while, while the developer is working on um, 
on the, uh, the the single player content and you know the bug fixes stuff in general first while slowly working towards the uh, the co-op update just takes a minute maybe two or three <laughs> That's sad for the dev. Yeah, it is, but you know, it's a it's a good game. It's a lot of fun. Let me see if there's any uh, response. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let me do something actually quickly. Let me go and uh, save the game. And. Let's quit it for a second. Bum, 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 bum. Gonna completely quit it for a second. I'm quickly gonna send um, the developer my uh, my log file and stuff. Do, 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 do. Percentage app data percentage. And local low soaring pixels. Where is it? There it is. Soaring pixels, breakwaters. And All right, there we go. And let's start it back up again. These breakwater streams for me have always been just helping out death, basically. I mean, I started playing this in the beta. I got beta access to the game, which I'm super grateful for because I've had so much fun playing and testing the game for them. And it's kind of helping out. So during my streams, you know, I uh, try to do my best uh, to make the game that slightly little bit better. If that means have, having to log out for a minute or two, then uh, that's fine by me. <laughs> if the game becomes slightly better that way, then, uh, you know, I can say I helped. <laughs> In a way. Uh, let's see anything else. Okay, he saw the message. Awesome. Right, let's keep playing. Um, what are we gonna do? We needed the boat. Hey, Gibius, how you doing? Anything to make it better? Exactly, exactly. Um, right, we needed a boat. We need a boat, a boat, a boat, a boat, a boat. What do we need to make a boat? Let's check the recipe. I kind of forgot. Probably some wooden planks and nails and a bunch of stuff. There we go. 24 wooden planks, 18 seagrass. We have enough tree sap and we have enough nails. All right, that's awesome. That, uh, that's pretty darn good. We got some more iron, so we can make ourselves a better axe that will help us with gathering. Let's do that first. So we need more seagrass for the axe too. Let's get some more seagrass then. Oh, accidentally picked up the iron hammer. Don't want none of that. We're picking up way too much stuff. Oh, the water is really high. Oh my goodness. 
Look at that. Look at that right there. Those pillars. When we placed the dock, they were halfway into the water. And now the water is all the way up. Jeez. I probably should have placed the boat dock later in the day. When it was already high water, high tide. Might have been a little bit better. Eh, but it, ultimately it doesn't matter. Oh, look at that. There's a bunch of seagrass here. Wait, what is this? Mushroom coral seeds. Uh, I don't care about those. Some more seagrass back here. Pick it up. Uh, this is one of the things I love the most about the game. Just a giant hole in the water. <laughs> Basically. Created by those uh, yellow crystals. And I love that. I love that so much. So cool. Yeah, let's get all that seagrass. Ba -ba -bum. <clears throat> oh, we're all the way full. I uh, don't care about the mushroom coral seed. I'd much rather have some more of this. Oh, I need some more meat. Because this guy won't leave me alone. There we go. At least I'm defending myself against them. Get rid of that bone. Don't need it. Um, we don't need this right now. Fine sand, fine sand. Wow. He dropped a lot of stuff. He dropped a whole bunch. There we go. So you're saying you need a boat? Yep, definitely need a boat. High tide. Mm-hmm. Well, um... Okay, so... It is a bit confusing. Because I've... I feel like it's high tide, low tide, right? But according to the developer... There isn't really... Uh, unless I'm wrong right now. But I believe the developer has always said that there isn't actually high tide, low tide mechanic or feature. Um, it is actually just the water like pushing itself towards the island back and forth. Um, like automatically. Depending on like waves hitting each other or whatever. I, again, I, I don't know much about it in like a technical sense, but I believe it was something like that. But it does really feel like low tide, high tide, but I don't think it's it's every time of the day is always the same thing. It uh, seems to be changing constantly, so. Um, okay, we only need some more wooden planks. That's awesome. Oh, we had some more wooden planks laying around. There we go. Having to control the water is real neat. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the big selling points of the game, right? I mean, there's so many games that have sailing and, uh, you know, going from island to island, like Stranded Deep, for example. Uh, but, but this game is very new, unique in the whole controlling water thing, right? That's just freaking cool. Who doesn't want to control water? I definitely do. It's freaking awesome. Oh, luckily no fall damage. 
There we go. Explorer boat class. Okay. So we have the Explorer base model. Um, we have health, no armor, contraption weight, two out of four. We have a sail. We have a base speed of 80. Primary color, trim color. Let's do it. There we go. That's our beautiful boat. Wonderful. And we should be able to change it. Yeah, we have some uh, contraptions here. You can build a ballista. Ballista shot, cannonball, grappler arm. This one has been... Um, this one has changed since last time we played. Last time we played, it just went like straight down whenever you use it. Uh, but now I believe you are supposed to be able to aim it towards a certain direction and um like for example grab a grab a crystal from the beach with it as an example that's pretty cool stuff i haven't tested it out myself yet so that's gonna be new for both of us it's gonna be cool boat crate yellow crystal motor uh boat repair kits boat defense so yeah <laughs> the boat name bailout do we have any better uh, boat names? Any better boat names? Porphos is very happy that you're back home early. Aw, cool. Hey, that reminds me. Uh, Porphos, Star Trek, Enterprise. Enterprise was originally a ship. There we go. We got the Enterprise. Synctanic, Titanic. Wow, rude. You guys think I'm gonna crash it? Wow. Right, Enterprise. Cool. <laughs> I made my I made my own name. I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Um, yeah, and it can't really do much else right now. Later, you're going to be able to change primary color, trim color, and all that stuff. There we go. And uh, let's, uh, let's use it immediately. There we go. Let's just sail around a little bit. Let's uh, go. Such a beautiful game. Change the sail. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Positive reinforcement. Or whatever. <laughs> sure. Oh, look at that. I think I found something special. Yeah, I found something special here. Treasure chests. What's up here? Nice, great boat name. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Exploration points. Aha, uh -huh, it's one of these. This is probably gonna be the Titan cage. Looks like it anyway. Look at that, there's a pirate base right there. Where is the village? Is that is that gonna be the village right there in the distance? Oh yeah. I was correct. Right there is the village. 
pirate base village this is where we are oh i didn't realize we can right click to put something on the map oh snap i didn't know that was even possible i just noticed that map marker Alright, that's cool. We can place a map marker right there. And then we can actually see it on the... Well, I can. <laughs> you guys can't. Um, there you go. <laughs> they can see it on the mini-map. Right there. You see the map marker. Yeah, let's try it again with the with the third lower third. Hopefully it won't crash things again. Maybe it was only temporarily. Is it good? No, it's stuck again, isn't it? That thing up there. Yeah, it's gonna be stuck again. No? It's going. Yeah, I don't know. Keep an eye on it. Okay, but this is cool. We found this one. Uh, we're gonna need that at some point. For now, let's go back into the boat. Oh, Jesus. Why did I slide off? Alright, and back we go. Let's go back towards home. And home is right there somewhere. Approximately that way. I think it's right there. It's where the boat dock was. See all those pirate towers in the distance there? Not a one back there. Back there. There's way too many of them. Way too many. Very dangerous. We definitely need to get some um, some boat repairs before we go on a big trip. Now let's turn her around. Oh, stuck. <laughs> there we go. Wonderful. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> there we go alrighty then we got that one um actually yeah then what what do we want to build for it should we build a ballista should we build a grabber should we build what should we do should probably do the ballista we need to be able to defend ourselves right That's probably the best thing. Or the grabber arm. Hmm. Nah, we're going for ballista. Here we go. Let's get some ballista shots. I still think ballista shots are super expensive. Especially because it's kind of hard to aim at a moving target like another sailboat, like another pirate's boat. So it's really hard to hit things. For me, anyway. But I guess you can also, um, you can also buy the materials and, you know, make a lot of money, make a lot of shards. So e eventually... It's not that hard to obtain anymore, but early game, it's pretty difficult, I would say. Um, right. So what should we do now? We need... The forest is moving! Oh my goodness. Scary stuff. Let's get some more water bottles. Thank you very much. 
I would like to have that. Wait, there was 60. Oh. Wait, this changed? It used to be 30 a water bottle, no? Oh, now there's 60 in each, each one. Okay. That has changed, huh? I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's better, but... Because one of them will have a lot more. That's slightly different. Okay. Might want to make another solar still, just in case then. Right, for now, that will be fine. Um, we have a couple of ballista shots. We have refined yellow crystal. I don't know why we need that, but we got it. We got raw meat. I guess let's cook it. Uh, I would like to have some more raw meat. Let's try to get some more, maybe. Because one is not going to be enough. Oh yeah, what need, we, we need to make... We need to make that... Um, what's it called? The hammock. There we go. Built that right in between those trees. Beautiful. Let's take a nap. <laughs> that thing happens again. <laughs> I was hoping that would happen. <laughs> when you try to eat something when laying on the hammock, it uh, basically breaks your back. <laughs> That's hilarious. Man, I love that so much. Oh, God. Alright, as you can see, my health is increasing a lot. So now we have one heart plus uh, a third heart, I guess. So each single heart is one health bar. So even if one of my health bars drains completely i still have a second health bar so that's pretty good that's pretty good stuff there we go now we have two health bars that's awesome and let's go to stats let's go to more health actually there we go and let's get another health bar let's regain some more health it's gonna help us out a lot Let's get myself some tea. Because my tea is getting cold. Don't like none of that. By the way, did the flickering stop? Or did I just not notice it anymore? Hmm. Uh, Soaring didn't see anything special in the locks either. Maybe it has to do with uh, stream laps or something. Maybe that's why it started to flicker. Which is weird, because then it should have happened last time too. Yeah, I, ha I haven't seen any flickering in, in a little while. So maybe it, uh, maybe it stopped. I don't know what happened, but we fixed it. That's awesome. I guess a restart worked. I don't think I saw it happen after, um, long after the restart. So, that's good, I guess. Um, right, we have max health. We have ballista shots. Um, we have iron. Oh yeah, I was gonna make a better axe. That's what we were doing. We are collecting iron for, for a better axe and seaweed. So that we could make the iron axe instead of stone one. Get the stone one away from here. So now we got an iron axe. We got a steel hammer. That's good. We can also make some armor. Bone armor, bamboo. 
With 10 bones. I have been throwing away my bones a lot, so that was stupid. But it is what it is. Let's get these salmons. Um... Let's cook that meat, cook that salmon. Get some more uh, health stuff. There we go. Now we have some cooked salmon. It looks exactly the same, the cooked stuff. One more meat on the fire there. And then we'll have plenty of meat for a little while. Good stuff. By the way, for anyone who doesn't know, if you put a little bit of wood on the fire, the fire will look like this. If you put a lot of wood on the fire it will look like this <laughs> and if you have a wooden house if you have created yourself a wooden house a wooden base and you have this inside your house it will burn down so don't put this in your log cabin or whatever <laughs> that would be bad that would be really bad. Just saying. All right. Do we? What do we need for the repair kits? Can we make those? We need kelp. Okay, that's easy. See some kelp back there. Back there. It's not that hard to obtain. Let's um. Let's use the boat to get it. Oh look, there's a lot of fish. Look at that. Let's go take a swim. There we go. Plenty of kelp. Oh god. For some reason it's really difficult to get up there. To jump up there. If you press E, you will automatically teleport up, but... I don't know. I like to actually use it, I guess. Oh look, there's a blue crystal down there. Generating more water. There we go. And let's make ourselves some more of those uh, boat repair kits. Just in case. And we probably will need them, so. <laughs> yeah, let's put my iron axe right there. Let's do that one. Let's do that one. All right. I think we are ready for an adventure. Are you guys ready for an adventure? I am, I guess. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go party people. Let's head towards the village. Now, the sailing in the game is not super realistic. If you have to sail like against the wind you will still move forward um because for a lot of players it will be frustrating if it's like too realistic 
It will be too slow moving through the world. So that is basically the reason behind it. But I think it's a lot of fun the way it is right now. I think it's pretty darn good. I like it. It's still a little slow because there's uh, you know, it's a vast distance from one island to another. But that's alright. That's okay by me. There's a lot to look at. There's a lot of pirate areas. Pirate towers here and there. There's not as many as last time that I played, actually. Last time I played, there were, like, way many... Uh, way more of, um... Of those towers right there. But now it only seems to be a few. Which is better, in my opinion. Because it, it felt way too difficult. With all those towers, having to dodge all of them. But maybe this is just a good spot. Maybe later... <laughs> further further into the map it will be more difficult maybe who knows who knows why is there an house icon right there in the water I guess that was from the other map again weird Yeah, we're getting there. Going towards the island where the village is supposed to be. And in the village... On the village island is also supposed to be the graveyard. Which is where we are supposed to be able to find the... Uh, the turtle titan sconch. Which will be fun. Then we can summon the titan. And summon the titan ourselves. Hello there, Ranjit. Welcome back. It has been a little while. I'm doing good. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. And uh, Jackson Records. Good to see you too. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome everybody. I hope you're all enjoying the stream so far. It's a bit more of a chill stream again. Not as much going on as last time. There's going to be a, a bunch of, you know, traveling from island to island, stuff like that. So a little bit more slow moving, but that's all right. Discovered Invisible Cove. Now, it's not quite invisible, but whatever. <laughs> the island names are like, um, are like procedurally generated as well. So not... So the, the, the names for my islands are a lot different from everybody else's in the game. Yeah, there we go. We're here. We're at the village. Pretty good place. Nice placement. There we go. Alright, and let's hop on aboard. Well, we're already starting at the, the end of the village. Which is nice. This is where we're supposed to be, I think. Let's talk to Chris. Michael. Hello there, Chris. Have a minute. Got a mission. Uh, oh yeah, defender armor, right? Yeah, he wants free bone armor. This guy can be talked to about the relics. I heard you are looking to fight a titan. If you are going to uh, attack the titan, you will need more than the average weapons. Go out onto an island. Go out onto the island and locate the hunter. They will teach you about crystal weapons and their use. All right. And then shop. And this guy has the cannon blueprint, which is cool. And also the chaser blueprint, which is a new boat. We will definitely want to have this one. 
uh, I believe. I believe the chaser is the best one, if I'm not mistaken. And here we can also buy steel metal, as you can see. We can buy iron ore. So that's all pretty good stuff. And what about this guy? Hey there, friend. Treasure maps. Seal treasure map 40. Seal treasure map 120. Ooh. That's a big difference. What about here? Anything else? You sell food, right? Yeah. You sell a whole bunch of food. Wait, there's a rice now? There's a rice? There's clams? Uh, I mean, clams were already in the game, I guess. But the rice I didn't know. Cool, cool. Oh, I didn't... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kick you like that. <laughs> Who's this? Alright. Just selling some basic, uh, basic stuff. And we have our uh, tower, of course. The mighty watchtower. Let's go all the way up. There we go. Now that... That looks awesome, doesn't it? I'm so high up. That looks pretty darn good. Screenshot. Very cool. Alright, let's jump down. No fall damage, baby. <laughs> I love it. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Uh, shop. Oh we, can, oh, we can buy the boat repair kits for 10 shards. Ooh. Let's do that. 10 shards is pretty cheap. Let's sell these things. 18, 70. There we go. Boom. We made a lot more shards there. And we can also talk to him about the relics. Oh, also referring to the hunter. And mission... Um, fish for the fishermen. Up, up, um, we need some fish. Five fish. All right, that's not too difficult. You might actually be able to do that quite easily. We already have a refined yellow crystal. Now, one might not be enough, but it might also be exactly what we need. Who knows? Who knows? Let's see. I saw some fish here earlier. Let's see if we can find it. If it's in too deep of water, we probably won't be able to get it, but... I mean, it is really dark. Super hard to see anything right now. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything. <clears throat> Except all the glowing mushroom and stuff. Oh, there's the fish. Now, I want to chase it towards land, and I want to throw this. Boom! That's how it's done. Pick up all the salmon. <laughs> yes, we got some. That's how you fish in this game. <laughs> You use the power of the crystals. That's the only way to do it. Well, not the only way, but that's, you know, that's the best way to do it. I mean, you're playing a game where you can manipulate the water. 
So of course you're gonna have to do that. <laughs> of course you're gonna have to use that ability. Ah, oh, come on, where's the water? I was just saying I could manipulate the water and now I don't have any water. That's karma. That's karma right there. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. That's some big old karma. All right, that's fine. Now let's go do what we're supposed to do, which is find the hunter. And there's also a graveyard here, which I think I can see right there. There's a hunter, I think, over there. Yeah, I can see the little, little island. And this is the graveyard. I think this is supposed to be some uh, Kickstarter stuff. Like names from um, Kickstarter users or something will be listed here, I believe. That's the main use of the grave of the these grave zones, I think so. All right, ancient. Oh, we picked up the tiki torch. Oh, that's useful. I didn't know that was possible. Cool. There we go. Sconch of the Turtle Titan. When used, will summon the Turtle Titan to fight you. Must be used near an active Titan cage to work, or the Titan will wander off. I don't see it. Didn't work. Will it not summon either? I really want to summon it. I don't think it will work, to be honest. I mean, it says it will wander off if, you, if, if there's no Titan cage. So it's probably not going to work. I think I tested this in the beta. The sconch. And it didn't work back then, but maybe it changed. No, nothing. Okay. Well, we tried. <clears throat> we tried, right? And look at the water going crazy, though. Look at them waves. Look at them big waves. Or hello there, sir. Get wrecked, sir. Boom, get wrecked. 13 damage, baby. Right, we need to go to that hunter. I'm wasting a lot of time. Let's get to that hunter and let's have him teach us about the um, the crystal weapons that we need to defeat the Titan. It'll be a lot of fun. Now, one of the things that we will get to do now is use a bow. That we have to do is use a bow. I personally am not a big fan of the bow. I really think the bow could use a little bit of work with aiming and stuff, but um, that will come in, in time, you know. What do you want? Uh, so you want, want him to put down those things, eh? Them boars have drank too much crystal water. It changed them. More powerful, more aggressive to people in the village. It takes more than just your everyday weapon to take them down. You need crystal weapons to do real damage. Here are a few for you to use. You're gonna need a few of them, um, regular arrows to finish them off once your shield is gone. Bring back some of them blue tusks. And oh yeah, if you run out, here's a blueprint to make crystal arrows. Alright, so we need to collect 
four tusks of the blue crystal boars. These boars are kind of special, as you can see. They haven't drinking too much of the uh, crystal water, apparently. And that's why they're, uh, they're turning blue. Alright, well we need a bow. I don't have one yet. So we won't be able to kill the boars. Because the, the blue crystal water basically gives them a shield. As you can see. Dealing zero damage. So yeah. We're gonna need one of them uh, one of them bows. I kind of forgot about that actually. I forgot that I needed a bow. Otherwise I would have made it earlier. Speed things up. Oh well, that's fine. We're just gonna have to... Oh, hold on. Damn. That's beautiful right there. What's also beautiful is my boat on the rock. <laughs> oh boy. What are we gonna do? <laughs> yeah, let's try to bring him back into the water. We can kind of push him. Oh, the water is coming back. There we go. Yeah, nice. We did it. Awesome. All right. So let's get back to base. Um, I mean, could we make a... Hold on. I guess we could make the bow maybe on this island. I don't think we need go back. Unless there's some special items that we need from the forest area. But I think most of it we can just find here. And we might already have everything else we need in our inventory, so... I guess let's gather first. There we go. Builder's bench. Um, there we go. And then we need a bow. Branch bow. Bamboo. Ah, see? Yeah, bamboo is gonna be the problem. Because we can only find bamboo on the forest islands. Yep. That is gonna be a problem. Now, we can go back home. Or we can go over there. This one is, I guess, slightly closer. Instead of going diagonal, we'll be going straight there. That's slightly better. Alright, how much bamboo do we need? We need a lot of seagrass, but that's fine. We can get that here. Tree sap, we can also get here? Question mark? Can we get tree sap from these palm, palm trees? I don't remember. Maybe not. Doesn't look like we can get tree set from these. Okay. Um, well, you know what? Let's just go back home all the way. We tried and we failed. That is life. You win some, you lose some, you know. 
Can't always win at everything. Let's go back home. Take us a minute to get there, but that's all right. We're not in a rush. Just go as fast as we can. And in the meantime, uh, you guys should hit that like button on YouTube, follow on Twitch, and subscribe to the channel too. If you haven't done so already. I see we have uh, 530 Switch followers, which is awesome. 3,804 subscribers. That's also amazing. And um, for anyone watching on... Uh, for actually anyone watching on YouTube... I don't know if you can still see it on top of the chat or if you scroll back up a little bit. Um, but um, Pixie gifted five memberships earlier. Only one has been claimed so far. So for anyone who is not yet a member, scroll up to the chat. Scroll up in the chat and you might be able to find Pixie's uh, gifted membership there. And you can allow the gifting and claim yourself a free membership that's always a good thing or what also might be possible uh if you go into the um, if you go to the super chat button like the little box with the dollar sign in it if you go to that button if you click on that there should also be an option there to allow gift or claim gift or something if you cannot see it in the chat, I believe it's also supposed to be in there. And then you can claim yourself a wonderful free membership. Who doesn't like free stuff? I definitely do. Free stuff is the best stuff. That's what I always say. That's what my mama always told me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. Um, which way? That way? Or did we go that way? I think over there. I think that's where we're supposed to go towards. Oh yeah, I can see the boat dock right there. It's a little bit difficult to see at first, but that's where it is. And it didn't take too long. So now we just have to find ourselves some bamboo. And then when we got bamboo, we can make ourselves a bow and we can travel all the way back again. <laughs> oh man. It is what it is. All right, there we go. All righty then. Um. All right, one of them is cooped, one of them isn't. Right, right, right. God, that was for a mission. Get rid of those rats. Get them out of my inventory. Don't care about them. Oh, you got the blueprint. Let's learn. There we go. We'll save us another inventory slot. That's good. Um, and we got this stuff. I guess let's put that over here. And... Let's put it right there. Some torches. Then we can then we can see the the boat dock more clearly, especially at night. There you go, Ranjit. You got yourself a wonderful membership. That's awesome. <laughs> you think it feels more gratifying if you can uh, work and pay for someone uh, for something yourself, something to be proud of? I guess. <laughs> I guess so. Depends on uh, depends on what it's about. I guess. Mm 
Uh, let's see, we need some water. Let's fill it up. Add the solar still. There we go. Yeah, so now it only fills up one bottle each time. I, I am used to it filling up two bottles of 30. I mean, this is basically the same. One bottle of 60 or two bottles of uh, 30. It's basically the same, but this feels slower for some reason. Um... Oh yeah, maybe I should get a health or a uh, food or water buff. So our max water is increased. <clears throat> that could be good too. <clears throat> yeah, let's... Um... Hmm. No, no. Let's go for inventory bonus first. And let's do another health boost. <clears throat> That'll probably be more useful to me. Make sure I don't die to death a million times. Instead of a million times, now I will just die, you know, like 100 times. Big difference. <laughs> Wait, did we get the health boost or not? I don't see an extra heart there. Maybe it's because I'm not healing. That's probably it. Let's see. Is healing going to do anything for us? No? <clears throat> Wait, did I choose the wrong thing? Uh, no, I don't think so. don't think so. Oh, huh. weird. Uh, right. We needed bamboo. Let's get that water bottle. Perfect. We have an extra water bottle now. Let's go find ourselves some bamboo. Um, I remember... Oh yeah, there are some. There's a bunch around here. Let's chop all of it down. There we go, that's 16. We only needed four. So yeah, 16 is uh, <laughs> it's plenty. <laughs> really don't need that much. And now we just need to find some more seagrass. A whole bunch of seagrass, 25. And we already have the tree sap, so that's good. Let's slide down the hill. My favorite thing to do. Did you guys see that? It was like it was spawning in or something. It was kind of weird. Or it got destroyed by something? I don't know. That's a whole lot of seagrass, but let's collect a little bit more because we always need more. <clears throat> you need a lot of seagrass in this game to craft a whole bunch of this stuff. Because seagrass is basically a rope, right? So you're using seagrass to like bind things together. <clears throat> So it's pretty important in the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, of course, Craft Joy. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, getting a little bit of uh, a little bit of a sore throat. <clears throat> Uh, 
I mean, I have been streaming earlier today as well. We streamed some... Um, some Dinkum. Played some Dinkum earlier today. That was fun. But I definitely notice it. Alright, let's make myself that bow. Should maybe make some more regular arrows too. There we go. The bow is made. And chicken feathers are needed now. Need some chicken feathers for a couple of arrows. Though I don't think it's really necessary. Way to choose. Oh. Didn't see that last time. Didn't catch my eye. Wrap shield. Oh yeah. Should get ourselves a shield. Should probably go ahead and do that. Um, fire grass for that, apparently. We got the crap shells. That's good. Let's get some fire grass. And fire grass is right here. There we go. And where was what I was gonna build? There it is. Crap shield. Awesome sauce. Bring that back there. Can we make another chest? Another crate? Because we have so much stuff. We can make a steel one if we have a little bit of hardwood and steel metal. We can make the steel metal easily. There we go. Um, let's chop that down. There we go. And then we can make the um damn. my memory <laughs> really is so bad. <laughs> uh, my memory all the time is so terrible. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. I will put that here. And we'll do this one. Back there. Hey, Lilura. Welcome back again. There we go. Now we can all... Now we can store all the extra stuff. That we don't need anymore. Or what I currently don't need, I guess I should say. Saves a lot of inventory space. Awesome. Did you put a little honey in your tea? Yeah, true. I used to do that every every time, but I haven't done that in a long time. I need to buy it again. <clears throat> I haven't bought it. Um, Alright, let's see. We can do that shield right there. There we go. It's auto-equipped. Have a nice little crap shield. Awesome, that will help a little bit. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And... What are we gonna do now? We have the bow.
The aiming is slightly better than what it used to be. But it doesn't really feel perfect yet. Yeah, it definitely doesn't feel perfect yet. But a lot better than what it used to be, that's for sure. Alright, let's go back. Um, he did say we needed more arrows to deal with the pig, but... I remember being a bit on melee them as well after the shield is gone. I don't think it's necessary. Hmm. But I guess let's get extra, just in case. So now we need feathers. We have seagrass, we have redstone, we have a couple of sticks, so we can make up more. We need feathers. And feathers... We need to kill chickens for that. Now I don't know if these chickens respawn. Don't know for sure. I hope so. <laughs> Nothing really in the game usually respawns, as far as I remember. So I'm not sure how that works with chickens. I know that you can get a chicken coop. Or you can make nests or something. You can place them down. I'm not quite sure where that would be. Or how I would do that. I haven't seen that anywhere yet. But it's supposed to be possible. Somehow. <laughs> Alright, but for now, let's make those arrows. We have three arrows only. That's really not that much. That's not a lot at all. Not even close. Now, let's see if we can find some more chickens walking around, maybe. Get some more of them feathers. See a lot of boars around. Oh, there's a chicken. Hey there, chicken. How you doing? There we go. Bunch of feathers right there. Awesome. Got it. <laughs> Remembering is more difficult if your attention is divided. You're doing multiple things at once while streaming, even if, even when these games, uh, even then these games throw lots of information at you. Of course, you don't remember everything. Yeah. But my memory in general is just super bad, <laughs> even when I'm not live streaming. <laughs> All right, let's make some more arrows. There we go. All right, so we got nine of those, ten of the blue. I think that should be fine for now. I think we'll be all right with, uh, with that amount. We don't need too many. How did you switch arrow type? Oh, yeah, X. So as you can see in the uh, lower left corner there, if I press X, it will switch to an arrow with a blue tip. We have 10 of those. And if I hit X again, we'll switch to the normal arrows with the gray tip. There we go. And now let's sail back to the other island again. I think we are ready. Okay, this is not ideal. <laughs> um, give a little... There we go. Let's go! We're gonna go, Ranjit? Alright. 
have a wonderful day and until next time again thanks for being here <laughs> all right we're gonna go to back to that island right there yeah see you in the next stream thanks for hanging out and thanks for everybody else being here i see you at 29 likes that's pretty awesome It's just gonna take a little while going back to the other island. And then when we get there, we have to hunt those um those special boar, the blue crystal um well the blue tusk boars, I guess. And uh, we have to collect those tusks and deliver them to the hunter. And then the hunter should provide us with some more information on how to beat the uh, the turtle titan, I believe. I mean, I know he will. <laughs> I've played it a bunch of times, so... I know what to expect, of course. This part of the missions hasn't changed yet. I don't think... I don't know if it will, this part... But it, uh, it might. Might change slightly in the future. We'll see what happens. I really like the new missions in the first island though. The new missions on the first island were a lot of fun to play through. It felt completely new. To me anyway. And with those, uh, with those um, captain's logs and cautionary tale, that really added to the experience as well. Giving us all that lore about the game. That was nice. That's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, we're almost there. I'm really missing the music when sailing. I believe Soaring did mention a while back that they was gonna, that they was gonna add more music to the like the ocean and stuff, but it is way too silent for me. I would love to hear more music in the background instead of only uh, the wind and the water. Not a big fan of that myself. I prefer more music. Uh, we're almost there. Uh, where was the hunter? That way, right? I think. Just go around the island then. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, on that side of the island. We'll just go around. Maybe. Maybe not. Nope. Changed my mind. Let's go through here instead. Let's cut our journey short. That's the idea, anyway. Because it's easier to run over the island to go all the way around. There we go. And let's run towards that hunter boy. Actually, no, we need to hunt those boars before anything else. There's one. Target acquired. We got the right arrows. Aim. Hold. Release. And another one. There we go. Boom. Boom. There we go. Very nice. Can we get our arrows back, please? Thank you. <laughs> we can rack the body. 
I like it. Oh no, it disintegrated. Oh. Alright, that was good. That was one. Did we get a task? Oh yes, we did. We got one of them. Awesome. So we need three more of those. We need three more boar. To give us a task. There's one right there. There's not a chicken there. Hello there, sir. Oh, wow, that was a massive fail. That was an absolutely massive fail, one of those arrows. You saw that? I don't know why it went straight up like that. <laughs> that was so bad. Gonna ever find my arrow again? Probably not. <laughs> oh, we got two tusks from that one. Alright, so at least that one was worth a lot more. Alright, let's find one more of those boars, and that should be enough. And we should have enough of those tusks to uh, complete this mission. Maybe somewhere on this green patch right here. See a chicken. That's not what I need. I need a boar. No chickens needed here. Look at the water coming in. The bioluminescence again. Wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. There is a bunch of chickens here. That's not what we need. What's all those boars, man? I think the boars should be spawning a little bit more, maybe, on this island. I think there was one over there, yeah. Hello there, sir. There we go. And get him. Wonderful. And we got the tusks. We got five of them. Awesome. That's all we needed. Oh, wow. So much more water. And look at the beautiful, beautiful fish in the water. I cannot say this enough. It's a beautiful game. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the hunter. Let's put the tusks back where they belong. Um, well, not back where they belong, but let's give them to the hunter, I mean. And we also had another mission with the fish. Someone. Um... Not for these guys, but for one of them at the beginning here, right? We had a mission to collect fish, I believe. Which we still have on us, question mark? Yes, we do. Mission. Yes, I got the fish. There we go, nice. We didn't get anything from that, except for maybe experience, I think, but uh, that's all right. Don't always need a reward. I mean, I would love a reward. But I guess you don't always need them. I guess.
Okay, let's give the tasks to the hunter boy. Hello there, sir. How you doing? My mission has been completed. Yep. Yep, crystal arrows drop them shields, regular arrows to finish them off. Well, I don't like to use a bow, so I just use a melee, but whatever. These tusks will do nicely, thank you. Awesome. And then something else. You know, if, you be, if you're looking uh, to know more about crystal weapons, you should go see the person who taught me. He used to be a breakwater, master of the seas. He lives out on his own island. I'll mark the last place I recall him being on your map. He might even be able to get you something to put on your boat. Sounds good, eh? It does sound good. All right, we have a mighty breakwater to find, apparently. And he is supposed to be all the way back there. That is pretty far. I mean, it took us quite some time to get from our island to the village every time and back. And this one is like three tiles away instead of only one. That's three times the journey. That's quite some time. That's going to take a little while. But that is all right. That's all right. Uh, don't know if we're going to travel there today. I think for the rest of this stream, we are going to prepare, I guess. And oh my god. <laughs> the sun coming up is so beautiful. It's so cool looking. I'm making like a million screenshots while walking here. <laughs> Freaking awesome. <laughs> there we go. Back on the boat. Yeah, let's get back home. If we can make it. Come on, come on. There we go. Get through here. Nice. Just enough water to get through. And we need to get back to that island right there. <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken. It will take a little while again. That's all right. We're not super lucky with the wind. <clears throat> the wind seems to be changing a lot less than it used to be during uh, the beta and the early access. The wind seems to um, shift a little bit less often, maybe? Or maybe that's just coincidence. Because I don't recall seeing an update on that. Just bad luck with the wind, I guess. It's not in my favor. Man, we still have 75% of the uh, wind speed. Or of my, um, like my max speed right there, so... It's not bad or anything. Could be worse. It would be a lot worse. Yeah, we're about halfway there. Let's see if anyone in the Discord has anything special to say. Hmm. All right. Oh, 
almost there. Yeah, this is why I would like to have a little bit more music. I usually don't play games with, uh, with like, music from other sources. I usually like to play my games with music from the game itself. And if that's not constant, and that's, I don't know, usually feels a bit, a bit boring to me otherwise. If you're just doing a, a tedious task or waiting a lot, like, like the sailing, I love to have some music in the background. Always, always when I was working as well, like, when I was working at a company, uh, IRL, and... They didn't have radio or something on. I I don't know. I just felt so bad working there. I really need something in the background to distract me. Just some fun music in the background. I don't even have to like the music. <laughs> just something to listen to, you know? I feel uh, that it makes things a lot better for me always. Oh, watch out! Oh no, watch out for the crystals! Sail around them. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at how high the water is. My goodness. Looks like I placed my torches on the right height right there. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Wonderful. We're back on the island. And now the music begins again. <laughs> so yeah. Continuous music on the ocean would be great for me personally. Now let's uh, throw those rats out. I don't want them. Get out of here. Boom. Okay, what are we going to do? Um, as I said, we probably have to prepare some stuff. Um, wait, why is this not in a special slot? Shouldn't the sconge be in a special slot too? No? I thought that one was supposed to be... In a special slot as well. Let me screenshot that quickly. Send it over to uh, to soaring. That scones should be there, right? There we go. Oh, <laughs> accidentally hitting a box. That hap- I, I, I left click whenever I um, go back into the game. Like when I leave the game and I uh, have to enter the game again, I usually left click to like register and I'm back into the game. And then I usually hit things like that. <laughs> um, oh, we still have one of those tusks. I believe they are useless, as far as I know. So I don't think we'll be uh, we'll be needing those. Let's put them back in there. Just trying some things here quickly. All right, cool. Let's just check if the duplication glitch still worked. <laughs> just wanted to double uh, double check, but that has been fixed for uh, like a, quite some time ago, I believe. Um. Okay. Yeah, the sconge is supposed to be there. Yes, but I have seen it going into another slot on the right before. Couldn't repo it. 
more than just once though happened when I had two of them work from anywhere just have to risk of dropping it if it's on the right oh there we go that worked if you click and drag the sconch outside of your in and pick it back back up then it goes into the left slot and screenshot of that there we go got a fix for it yeah so this one is supposed to be there awesome that saves me another uh, another spot right there oh we have dead chickens too nice um right yes as I said, we needed to get some supplies. Um, and what do we exactly need? We need ammo. Because, of course, we are going to fight the Turtle Titan at some point. So, we're going to need a bunch of ammo. I don't remember. Did I use the Ballista ammo last time? Or did I use a cannonball ammo a lot? Ballista does 125 damage. Range 75. The cannonball has more range and does slightly more damage. But it is a lot more difficult to craft because you need 3 sap and also the fire flowers for it. So it's a little bit more difficult to craft. Hmm. Well, these ones are relatively easy. And... Couldn't we buy them as well? From that place? I believe we could buy them from the village as well, no? I don't remember. Well, what we should definitely do... Is we should get some more shards in general. And one good way to do that... Is by chopping down the entire moving forest. And make the wood into planks and sell the planks for shards. That has always been a really good way of making money in the game. Making the shards. The shards are the currency, the yellow shards. So we need to get a bunch of them. Oh man. FPS is dropping. <laughs> There's too many things on top of each other. Let's pick it up quickly. Takes a little while. I'm starting to be full. Let's store some stuff. Store some stuff that we don't need right now. There we go. Yeah, we can pick up all of this again without any problems. Oh, character is getting a bit hungry and thirsty. 
There we go. Get some more water. There we go. Much better again. Oh my god. Yeah, FPS is um is dropping right now. I don't know what's going on. Must be all the moving trees that are coming towards me, to be honest. I think that is the reason. There's more and more trees from the island moving towards me. Because that's what they do. They will keep moving towards the player. Maybe that's what's causing some issues. Yes. Go. Very good. Alrighty then, let's make some more planks. As I said, I was gonna do. don't have the inventory for it let's remove wait what do we need what do we need for the planks do we need hardwood or the softwood i think the hardwood right yes so the softwood can go There we go. Pick up all of that and make some more. And we can sell all of them planks. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be completely filled up. Don't have any more space. <laughs> All right, let's find a trader. Trader is right there. Luckily, really close. That's awesome. Hello, there, sir. And let's use the shop. And let's sell this. 96 can we oh no that's not what i wanted there we go tried to right clicking before but for some reason it didn't work that was weird <clears throat> oh this added quite a bit actually didn't expect tree sap to be worth that much uh, what about this 200 almost for shards blue shards hmm. not sure if that's worth it though because blue shards are kind of limited compared to the yellow ones um that's not even worth that much it's not worth that much that's basically worth nothing wow Just checking if there's something with a crazy high value. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Alright, let's make a thousand shards. There we go. That's nice. A thousand yellow shards. And we cannot buy anything special from this guy, but I believe we can buy... Um, we can either buy the whole cannons or the... Um, Ballista thing. 
or we might be able to buy the resources to craft them like we can buy the iron ore for example and then we can just immediately make them into ammo here at uh, at the boat dock that's kind of the idea but i think for now guys it's gonna be a, a little bit of a short stream i guess um connection seems uh not be great either um i don't know if it's a combination of the game or if they're of or if stream labs is having some issues or something um but yeah i think this is where we'll end it for today we've been streaming three hours of dinkum earlier today i believe and we have now almost played three hours of uh, breakwaters so i hope you guys enjoyed it hope it was fun uh, if it was, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and follow, etc, etc. Join the Discord, exclamation mark, link in the chat. We'll uh, give you one link that goes to a website with all my information. My Twitter, Discord, Instagram, uh, etc. All can be found using exclamation mark link in the chat. Thanks for being here, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful evening. The Hex Couple, thank you very much for the follow. And I hope to see you all next time again for some more.